Welcome back. This is Joe with the Technology Closet, and I have another OS 10 Mountain Lion video for you. Today we're going to talk to you about uh, um, using the uh, Mac App Store to purchase applications. Uh, there are free and pay apps in the App Store. Um, a lot of the free ones are great apps. I recommend quite a few of them. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up your account to work with the Mac App Store, set it up so that you don't have to use a credit card or provide a credit card to get it to get the account activated, um, and then from then on you can either um, add it as you need and then take it back off, or you can. What I usually do is purchase uh, iTunes gift cards and then redeem them in the store, and that way I don't get myself in trouble on the credit card. So we're going to get started by going into the App Store. And in the previous video on iCloud, I showed you how to set up an Apple account, uh, an Apple ID account, um, with an iCloud email address. So what we're going to do here, and I've already done this, you would normally go to Store and Sign In. In this case, I'm already signed in. It says Sign Out. And the first couple steps, it will ask you to give a billing address, phone number, and select what payment method you're going to use. Now I can show you what that looks like by going into view my account and I will sign in and this is what my account looks like per currently and as you can see payment type no credit card on file. Well what it will show you when you first set it up is this screen if I click edit over here. This is the screen that will come up asking you for your billing address and the payment type and as you can see you can put Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, even PayPal and you want to select none and you have to do this either on the website the Apple Apple ID website or through the Apple uh, the Mac app, app Store you can't do this to my knowledge on an iOS device in any of the stores you can't select none as the payment type only a credit card or PayPal uh, and you can redeem gift cards as well on the iOS devices but but uh, to select none you have to be uh, on the computer um, and here is where you would click to redeem a code from a gift card so you would just select none fill out the billing address and click done and then accept the terms and conditions and you're done once that's done you can go to uh, the navigation sections at the top with featured apps and this is the these are the apps that uh, that Apple is pushing and and have risen to the top either new or or great sellers or or whatever. And as you can see, there are some apps that cost money. Angry Birds, Star Wars is four ninety nine. Screenflow four is ninety nine ninety nine. That's rather expensive, but there are reasons for that. Um, if you want to look for free apps, you can look at the top free apps down here, and this is the top by sales. Uh, top grossing apps uh, are down here and those are usually all pay obviously and the top paid apps are in here and you can see all in each of these sections you can also just do a search if you know what you're looking for up here um, you can look by the top charts uh, and this time there's this this uh, section there's um, top paid, top free, again, with, which was on the sidebar on the front page there. You can go by category, um, and they have, you know, business and entertainment and games and education. Uh, photography has its own section, productivity, uh, and social networking. Um, this is where I want to take you for a free app that um, I can demonstrate uh, how you install it. And it's going to be Twitter, so we're going to go right to the very first one is Twitter. Okay, it takes you to the page, uh, tells you a little bit about it, shows you screenshots, gives you links to uh, support, customer ratings, um, and, uh, and all of this. Um, we're just going to go ahead and install it. To do so, you just click on free, and it turns it into an install app icon. You just click that, and you'll see it actually install here in a moment. It's going to ask for my password. And once it authenticates, it will install the application. So now it's installed. 
Uh, and the way you can tell that is if you go to purchases, now we see Twitter here and it is installed. Okay, we see the date purchased. So now that it's installed, we can access it go by going to uh, Finder and to Applications. And if we scroll down, you'll see Twitter right there. Okay, you can also access it by using a, a keyboard shortcut, uh, which is the command key and the space bar. That'll bring up the spotlight search. And if I bring that up and I just start typing Twitter, you see there it is. It just comes right up to the top. I hit enter and it brings it up. Now it wants me to sign in. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll sign in uh, with the Technology Closets uh, account. And there we have it. Now we have a, 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 the native Twitter application uh, installed, and we did it through the App Store. So that's the end of this uh, video. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to us at feedback at the technologycloset.com. And uh, also, please visit our YouTube page and subscribe. Thanks.